Hi everyone, welcome back to another Technisci video. In this one, we're looking at a series called T-Sec Physics Formula Book. You can't afford to miss even one. So, like, subscribe, and of course, sharing is caring. So, send the link on to somebody who you know this video will help. Let's go. Okay, so remember, we are doing the CSEC physics formula book. This is part one, and we're starting off with density. Now, I do not want to make these videos very long. I want to make them really short, so we're getting right into it. Let's look at a definition of density. It is the mass per unit volume of a substance or the degree of compactness of a body. Let's now explore what exactly that means, and we're starting off with solids. So, we have two boxes here on screen. No, they look like the same volume. So what we're going to be doing is to basically compare to see which is more dense than the other based on the contents that it has. So we have this one here and the other. So just by looking at both, we can see that there is a difference in the number of particles that is in each box. So therefore, one of these boxes would be more dense than the other simply because it is more compact. More compact, so it has more particles within the same space. So the one on the left is the one that is more dense because it has more particles. And if you have more particles, it means you have more matter. More matter means more mass. So it has more mass within this particular volume than the other on the right and so the one on the left is the one that is more dense more mass for each unit of volume now let's further explore with fluids now remember fluids can be liquids or gases so i'm going to be using a liquid but like i said the same carries for gases so again we have two beakers here and from observation they seem to have just about the same volume of liquid in them so i'm going to be now showing the distribution of the particles there's two different types of liquids and so we're going to be looking at that so now you're seeing distribution again the one on the right this time has more molecules than the one on the left and so in this case, the one on the right would be more dense than the one on the left. Now, please bear in mind that when you're talking about density of a substance, it is specific to a substance. So if I have one kilogram of lead as opposed to two kilograms of lead, it's the same substance, so it's the same density. Density is unique to a substance. Or we would say it is characteristic of a substance. So once we're talking about the same substance, it will have the same density. So which one of these is more dense? Naturally, if you said the one on the right, you would be correct. One on the right is more dense than the one on the left in this case. Think you got it? Good. So let's further go and explore. So we've covered the definition, mass per unit volume of a substance or the degree of compactness of a body. So now let's explore the symbol of density. It's the rho, it's called the rho, it's a Greek letter. It looks like a P, but it's not quite a P. So how do we calculate density? We know it's the mass per unit volume of a substance, but how do we calculate it? Now, a key thing I usually say is your definition oftentimes helps you to derive or to deduce your formula. So it's mass per unit volume. Now, that word per is telling us, implying to us that the quantity that's coming afterwards is a denominator. So mass per unit volume is telling me that density is equal to mass divided by volume now in symbol it's rho equals m over v now many times you'll see a capital v sometimes you'll see a common as well but the capital v really is to make a distinction between volume and velocity 
SI unit of density. Now, remember, SI unit means the international standard that is observed and recognized worldwide as the unit of measurement for specific quantities. Now, for density, that SI unit is kilograms per cubic meter. That's how that unit is read. So you have kilograms and then we have this negative sign. So it's telling you it's per cubic meter. We can also write it in this form where, like I said, once you hear per, it's indicating a denominator. So it's kilograms with your division bar over cubic meter. Now, for some quantities, there is an alternate unit that is used. It is used in some calculations. In this case, because kilograms per cubic meter is a large unit, and so when we need to take into consideration smaller measurements, we use grams per cubic centimeter. Now, while it is acceptable, if you're asked in a question to represent the density in SI units, you would have to, you would have to use kilograms per cubic meter. So that's the alternate unit. And likewise, it can be represented in this manner. Please note, where there is a division bar, you do not have your negative sign. But where there is no division bar, then your negative sign is used. And now finally, how do these two quantities relate? 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter is equal to one gram per cubic centimeter. So now that we've covered all of that, let's get into the application. How are we going to be using this knowledge in questions? So question one says, a cube of size 0.35 meters has a mass of 28 kilograms. Determine the density of the cube. So first thing we do once we have questions is to record what we got. So let's go. So first you can highlight what you got the question and note what is required so now this is a cube so it says sides is 0 0.35 meters and we know that the volume of a cube is equal to l cubed or l times l times l so that's equal to 0 0.35 meters all cubed. And then we got mass. Remember, symbol is M. So now we write our formula and substitute. Notice I keep everything in line. Excellent. Now that's the answer for our density. So now let's get to question two. So question two says, calculate the mass of a substance of density 27 grams per cubic centimeter and volume 3.2 cubic centimeters. Now for this one, it requires a little bit of transposition because we're required to find the mass. We got density and volume. So again, first thing you need to do Record what you have in the question. Now I'm going to write the original equation and then I'm going to transpose. Need help with the transposition? Check my video in the i cards or in the description. So therefore, mass is equal to density times volume. Now I can substitute. Now in this case, this CMQ will cancel this CM to the negative three. That's laws of indices. When you have the same base, being multiplied, 
you keep the base and add so you would have cm negative 3 plus 3 good so when we multiply now we will get and that's the answer for that question i hope this was helpful and you're now able to solve questions that involve density easy as one two three so now it's your turn you are gonna be solving these questions and don't worry i got you the hookup i'm going to be adding the solution to these questions in the description below so you can go and download them as you please so everyone there you have it we are done with part one of the series i hope you really understand the concepts that we did today and now you're gonna master any density question you got so what's coming in the next one relative density stay tuned for that if you don't want to miss it make sure you like subscribe and share remember sharing is caring so help others by sharing this video for them to use